Hi everyone! So it's Sunday again, so that means it's time for another Bible story. So for today, our story is about a family who was friends with Jesus. Now this family had two sisters and one brother. So the two sisters were named Mary and Martha. Can you say that? Mary and Martha. While the brother's name was Lazarus. Can you say Lazarus? Lazarus. Now, Jesus was very close to this family. He would often go to their house, talk with them, um, eat with them, and spend time with them. Now, one day, Lazarus, their brother, got very sick. And so, well, but during this time, Jesus was far away from their village. So they asked the messenger to tell Jesus that their brother was very sick because they knew that Jesus was powerful and that Jesus would be able to help them. And so while waiting for Jesus to arrive to their village, their brother Lazarus got even worse. His sickness got worse. And so after a few days, Lazarus died. But Jesus did not arrive in time before his death. So Mary and Martha were very sad, but they had no choice but to prepare for his burial. And so Mary and Martha wrapped their brother's body with cloth and put this dead body inside a cave and put a huge stone to cover the entrance of the cave because that's how they buried dead people in the past during Jesus' time. So after a few days, Jesus finally arrived in Mary and Martha's village. And when Mary and Martha heard about this, Martha ran out of her house to meet Jesus. And she said, Jesus, my Lord, if only you had been here earlier, my brother would not have died. But I still believe that you are powerful and you would be able to help us. And whatever you ask God, God will give it to you. After this, Martha ran back to her house to where Mary was, who was crying together with her friends who were Jews who were comforting her. And she said, Mary, Jesus is here. And when Mary heard this, she also ran out of her house together with her friends and met Jesus. And she said, Jesus, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw how hurt Mary was and how sad and how Mary was crying so much together with her friends, Jesus was moved and he also cried with them. And so Jesus said, where is Lazarus buried? Where is your brother buried? And so they showed Jesus where Lazarus was and his cave. And when Jesus saw the cave, he said, Roll out that huge stone that's covering the entrance of the cave. And so some big and strong men rolled out that stone that was covering the cave. So what do you think Jesus was going to do? Let's see. So Jesus then looked up to heaven and prayed to God. Then he shouted, Lazarus, come out! So how can that happen? Remember, Lazarus was already dead. So can dead people listen to what people, other people are saying and walk out of the cave? No, right? Because Lazarus was dead, how can he walk out of the cave and listen to what Jesus was saying? But what happened next? Suddenly, a man who was covered with cloth around his body walked out of the cave. And it was Lazarus. Remember, his sisters, Mary and Martha, covered him with cloth when he was already dead. So that was Lazarus who came out of the cave. So how can that happen? Jesus made a miracle. He was able to bring a person back to life. Jesus was so powerful because he is the son of God, right? He was so powerful that he was able to bring Lazarus back to life. And when Mary and Martha saw this, they were so happy that they thanked Jesus because Jesus helped them and loved them very much. 
they now knew that Jesus was really powerful that he could even bring a person back to life. And so when the other friends who were Jews together, who were with Mary and Martha, who were comforting them and crying with them, saw that Jesus made this great miracle, they also believed in Jesus. They now believed that Jesus was really the Son of God. So, in the story, what can we learn? So, in the story, just like Lazarus, Lazarus was brought back to life, right? So, just like us, we will all grow old, we will all die one day. But we shouldn't be afraid because as long as we believe that Jesus is the Son of God who died for our sins on the cross, Jesus will be able to bring us back to life. Jesus is so powerful that He can do anything for us. He can help us in whatever problems that we are facing. He loves each one of us just like He loved this family, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, right? He would be more than happy to help us in whatever problem we are facing. Maybe um, we are sad because we lost our toy, or maybe because our parents got mad at us, or maybe we fought with our siblings or our friends. Just pray to God and God, or just pray to Jesus, and Jesus will be able to help us. He would be more than happy to help us. Okay, so let us review. Let me ask you some questions. So in the story, did Jesus love his friends Mary, Martha, and Lazarus? Yes, just like he loved his friends in the story, he loves each one of us as well. So in the story, who was the man that was brought back to life? His name was Lazarus. And who brought him back to life? Jesus. Jesus was so powerful that he was able to bring a person back to life. So in whatever problems that we are facing, Jesus can help us. Even bringing a person back to life. So one day, just like Lazarus, we will all grow old and die, right? But we shouldn't be afraid because as long as we, what should we do so that Jesus will be able to bring us back to life? As long as we believe in Jesus, that He is the Son of God who died for our sins on the cross, Jesus will bring us back to life. So we shouldn't be afraid that we will all die, right? Because Jesus will be able to bring us back to life in the end. So before we end, just like always, we will have our memory verse. So our memory verse for today is coming from Psalm chapter 121, verse 2. And it says, My help comes from the Lord. So where does our help come from? From our Lord Jesus Christ. So in the story, remember, Jesus helped his friends Mary and Martha by bringing their brother Lazarus back to life. So, in whatever problems that we have or whatever problems we are facing, we can always ask help from our Lord Jesus Christ, right? So, our memory verse for today is, My help comes from the Lord. Let us say that three times and you can go ahead and pause this video so that you can memorize it faster with your parents or your guardians. And just go back to this video for our closing prayer once you're done memorizing. So again, let us say that three times. Psalm chapter 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord. Again, Psalm chapter 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord. Last, Psalm chapter 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord. So you can go ahead and pause this video, and once you're done memorizing, just go back here so we can have our closing prayer. Dear 
Let us pray. Let us put our hands together, bow down our heads, close our eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you, for you are powerful. We thank you because you love us, care for us, and will always be there in times of trouble. We thank you for saving us from our sins on the cross so that we can be brought back to life in the end of time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.